hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial today today we have a special tutorial very classic uh, volumetric calculation we will use microsoft excel combined with uh, crystal ball software this software is very cheap and you can find it in the internet by um, uh, crystal ball made by uh, Oracle Oracle company you can find it in on our website uh, actually we use this uh, add, add on application for any probabilistic approach any probabilistic uh, calculation like uh, volumetric calculation uh, enhanced oil recovery recovery factor uh, drilling cost drilling risk a lot a lot of features inside this crystal ball you can use it outside of petroleum industry now we are going to make a very simple volumetric calculation for example if you have uh, uh, area in acre and uh, uh, net base thickness in feet and porosity consider it fraction decimal uh, less than uh, one um, for SO we use usually SO or S hydrocarbon instead of um, of SW or one minus SW because uh, we are you going to use one B two B three B 3b means bigger value or great value or good value for the val for the volume so uh, for higher so means greater value for the oil in place and vice versa also is a fraction um, uh, area is h phi so as well as uh, formation volume factor uh, it's reservoir barrel per stock tank barrel. Okay. Um, as you know, uh, the general formula for original oil in place equal seven seven five eight times area in acre times net base thickness in feet times uh, phi uh, as a fraction times uh, SO as also as a fraction divided by formation volume factor okay I forgot to add something okay now I think uh, everything is okay except we need to add divided by 1 million because we need the unit of oil in place million barrel oil uh, actually this constant uh, is came from uh, from a combination of area because the area in acre not in kilometer and uh, h in feet if you uh, honor this uh, this unit you come up with as uh, a barrel then divide by million you have uh, oil base in million barrel okay now go for area assume we have uh, different area uh, in your assumption because we are dealing with invisible things uh, especially in acceleration phase or early developed uh, uh, model suppose we have area ranging from uh, 1,000 acre to 5,000 but the weighting or um, or you expect uh, the number around 4,000 it is just a guess and depends on your experience in this area then go for define assumption it's area is the first uh, assumption for simplification now uh, we will use normal distribution curve 
but uh, later on we can go through each uh, each one of these and describe more in advance okay then click OK what is the mean and the standard deviation we can try and error to make uh, this curve to match this parameter means let's say uh, 3000 and click enter so the 3000 here in the middle but we said we have still minimum 1000 and maximum 5000 5, which is not displayed here so you can play with the standard deviation 0.1 no so reverse use 0.15 let's make it less than 1.7 0.5 just try and error to choose the best match value to match these values okay still very high okay um, now we can use minimum and maximum uh, for instance or customer so because we failed to match these three parameters uh, by only me using these parameters mean and standard vision so we can use another methodology b90 and p10 let's say p90 is 1000 and b10 let's say 5000 okay so we have negative value and zero for area which is uh, doesn't make sense so we can make uh, instead of 1000 2000 make it bigger to eliminate zero okay uh, now we uh, have a new value appeared which is 2000 and uh, we can have uh, a 1000 as minimum but invisible here just a trial and error is a matter of sensitivity okay so now we have already 1000 and maximum 6000 we said we have uh, 5000 as maximum but we can play with the results from here the same for sorry okay looks realistic now if you uh, you don't agree with this shape you can change from gallery use beta or uh, long long normal which is easy for you to match but for now as uh, we said in the in the uh, start of this video we use normal distribution okay uh, let's consider we agree on this uh, shape which match this parameter minimum and maximum and uh, most likely name it area and just unit and acre click ok you notice the, the cell already changed it to green color which is accepting your results it makes sense same uh, same thing with thickness, need by thickness, define assumption again and make a normal distribution. Consider we have a thickness uh, minimum. Let's say minimum thickness um, 200 meter, uh, 200 feet, sorry. And for P10, consider we have 500 feet feet okay we have now uh, uh, sorry this is a uh, negative value which is unacceptable in terms of thickness okay now we have zero thickness which is not accepted in your sense in your experience uh, zero means no reservoir so now we can move this one a little bit higher just a try and error as we said before if you agree with this shape we can accept ok for uh, 
of course minimum velocity should be in the minimum okay we use minimum as let's say point one mm -hmm. point one means you accept only uh, velocity in this area is point one there is nothing below point one because below point one or ten percent you eliminate it from the as you pay as a cutoff because we have a, a value for cut of uh, value for porosity is 10 percent for maximum we consider as from your experience 0.3 or 30 percent of course we are not agree with this value because we don't have value of uh, negative or zero so you have to increase this value by a little bit higher okay okay if you agree okay no problem uh, still uh, having c point one here just to try and error point one seven okay if you accept just click okay and don't forget to to adjust this name because this name will display on the final report okay then if you agree click okay same same with SO same SO which is fraction consider uh, minimum SO is 0.5 because if you have less than 0.5 you consider it non reservoir or non pay for a while uh, because we, we of course we don't have any value for so more than one so for for now we, we, we consider point one sorry one is the maximum but for displaying and calculation purpose you just uh, you can adjust from here uh, point seven just right okay if you agree with this um, profile you can click ok for uh, formation volume factor you, uh, usually you make it constant but you can play with this uh, if, if, so if you have many reservoir with different um, fluid characteristics you can play with this formation volume factor for instance we use it as constant which is 1.5 okay and uh, now you have to teach the software and uh, allow him to know oil in place in this value uh, this is the results you can define forecast instead of define assumption and name it oil in place and units in origin uh, million barrel oil then click ok and ok now we are ready for simulation or monte carlo simulation just click start will take some time depends on your iteration or uh, installation setup okay now I think it's finished because total trials is one, only 1000 now we have a display of original oil in place uh, this you are uh, coming from another sheet but our focus now on only original oil in place where is the one B, two B, three B here? Just uh, view, click in view, split view, and percentiles and statistics. Now you have uh, ninety percent, which is one B, fifty percent to two B, and ten percent, which is three B, three hundred forty-nine. Uh, we have a big, big mistake here so because we have uh, in 100 percent negative value which is doesn't make sense of course but you can go back uh, and play with the uh, inputs and uh, eliminate just to see which one caused the negative value uh, the idea behind this video is just to show how to use the software and uh, its features. Uh, okay, now we have the results. You can print it and print a graph. This graph um, is normal distribution curve 
probability versus uh, oil in place, calculated oil in place. Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice time.